Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I gotta make this quick because I have a lot going on, but I got a lot of exciting news, too. So, hopefully keep this under five minutes and keep rolling. I got the 46 broke down. The 125 is full, but looking cloudy as hell. I woke up yesterday morning uh, to a bad bacteria bloom. Um, I need to get this tank rolling as fast as possible so I can get the fish from the 46 into there. Um, so I put in some Seachem clarifier today, as much as I hate using chemicals. I did it on that tank before there was any fish in it, and it did a great job within four or five hours. And then you just got to change out your filter floss. So I'm going to have to break down the canister, which I want to do anyways, so I can take all the media from that and put into there. And just to add some extra, you know, that the bacteria is already there. So, got all that going on. It's a mess. The truck's still outside full of crap. I got buckets of substrate everywhere, buckets of fish everywhere. I still haven't taken the fish from the, uh, from the 20 long and put them into this tank yet. So I get home just now from breaking all that down, getting the fish in here, and I put uh, aerators and heaters in the buckets, so keep them going. And I look into here. This is where I've been keeping my endlers and the uh, one shrimp that I had left. And uh, it was looking cloudy in there too, so I was just getting ready to do a small water change on it. And I look in here, and I don't know if this camera's, yeah, right there. There's little fry swimming everywhere. So, on top of everything, I don't even have these guys in an established 10 gallon yet, and the females decided to give birth. It looks like it was the big one and the small one both gave birth on the same day because they both... You can't really see them because the water's so cloudy, but they're both super skinny now, and they were fat as hell, so. But yeah, so that's the first batch of fry that I have ever had. So I'm extremely excited, but at the same time, I'm extremely nervous because I just got them in a stupid little holding holding cell for right now until I figure out, you know, get a 10-gallon set up for them and all that. But uh, So yeah, the plan is, as of right now, I'm still going to try and do a really small water change on those. I know that fry are delicate when they first when they first come out and that just had to happen between last night and right now which is about 12 o'clock on Sunday so you know what I mean they're in the very first stages so I'm gonna try and hopefully keep those alive it's my first batch so might be wishful thinking but that's pretty exciting but yeah the, the rest of the plan today I'm going to uh, get all of these fish except for the Krebenzis acclimated into this tank and uh, take the Krebenzis and I got all the plecos in a, in a separate bucket outside and the two Chi Siamese algae eaters or Chinese algae eaters whatever the hell they are got all those in a bucket getting ready to go to the pet store so I'm going to take the everything but the Krebenzis out of here uh, pet store closes at 6 so take both of these buckets up there dump all them fish off just because I like him he was starting to color up really well and everything but he just bullied everything in that 20 long to the point that they were scared to death. I had fish jumping out. I had fish dying from stress. So I just don't think he's a good one to keep around unless I put him in his own tank. And quite frankly, unless I was doing like electric rams or something like that, you know what I mean? I don't want really a, a species only tank. So for now. So I just need to get rid of him just because I don't know what to do for now. And <laughs> I've already got all these other absolute crazy projects going on. I really hope this thing clears up. Like I said, I already got some good bacteria in there, and I've got two great big media bags full of good media from the uh, um, 46. So they're all going into the canister. Hopefully this thing clears up. When it clears up, I'm going to clean out the canister filter floss and put the new media in there. Hopefully I have all the fish that I'm wanting in here dumped in here by tomorrow morning. And... Uh, get everything rolling you know I'm finally settling in I'm getting comfortable house is a little cleaned up from the last time you've seen it but it's just everything's a mess I'm stressed to the max <laughs> I got uh, so much to do today and on top of it uh, my boss asked me to change the oil in the company truck I gotta replace the serpentine belt and the tail lights so in the midst of all this I gotta try and make the boss happy too on a Sunday so <laughs> just uh, thought I'd give you a quick update I know I haven't been putting a lot of them out there so just thought I'd show you guys everything for now. Uh, this tank is going to be broken down. I know I said the 46 is going to be salt water, and I do still intend to do that, but I've got so many extra plants and fish that I want to keep, but I don't want to go in here yet. 
and frankly I don't want to keep running a bare bottom tank and I'm not going to try and set this thing up while there's water and fish in it so I'm going to set the 46 up a little nice you know a little nicer of a planted tank and an actual you know a bit of an aquascape and everything just to get it rolling for now and then uh maybe put the 35 gallon in my bedroom and set it up nice and then transfer the fish over and then worry about salt on this but for now the salt water thing's on hold because I've got other shit that I need to take care of but that's the plan for right now uh, when this thing clears up and I get the rest of the plants in it and everything I'll do you guys a solid update you know a, a good one instead of just showing you a bunch of shitty tanks like I've been doing lately so uh, you know I'll keep everybody posted and uh, any suggestions on any of this I'm open to it so you know what I mean should I keep this a planted tank should I turn it into salt water I just I got so many ideas rolling through my head but right now the main the main goal is to get this thing fired up and ready to go because I'm tired of staring at milky water for one and I've just I've been dying to see this tank set up with fish in it and everything so I think it's about time I've got a bunch of uh, Rotala and stuff that made or Ludwigia that made it through all the crap that I didn't know I was doing in this tank with not remineralizing the water and all that so uh, you know the fish have been stressed the plants have all been stressed I got enough to load this thing to the brim I'm just going to throw every plant that I have in there for now and just to keep the algae from blooming up and uh, you know what I mean just keep my plants alive frankly until I figure out what I'm going to do and what my exact scape's going to be with this and driftwood and all of that so I'm just going to stuff all the extra plants from the 46 and from the 20 long right in the back wall in the middle there and put all the crypts the extra crypts I have over here like I said I don't know if I'm going to keep the crypt garden, like I said, that might be, uh, I'm thinking about filling the whole front all the way to the middle of this thing just with nothing but crypts, and then find one nice, you know, tall growing plant for the background, keep that easy like a two species tank for right now, and just let everything grow out, and, you know, just get some freaking rest after all this, I, I just want to sit down and enjoy my tanks, and enjoy my new house, and my new job, and all of that stuff, so, uh, I'm just tired of pissing with tanks. I need to get it all set up, you know, drop the bomb, take the fish to the pet store even though I don't want to, and just get it done and over with. That way I can have my rams, I can have my, you know, zebra autos and all that stuff that I've been dreaming about for this tank. I just don't want to throw a bunch of a bunch of fish that I don't want in there, you know what I mean, and then have to try and catch them and rip my plants up and everything. So basically right now the angels, the two angels, the discus, and all my neons are going in here and the rest of it I'm dumping in there I'm still keeping all the the bleeding heart tetras and the skirt tetras and all that crap but they're all just gonna go in there for right now until I you know cuz they're awesome fish to watch but uh, I just don't really think they have a place in here I just want a big school of neons big school of autos I need to get one more discus for the one that I have just so he has somebody to pal around with he's been palling with the angels for now but I may even, I'm considering getting to, uh, two of the darker angels too, the striped ones, so, uh, you know, the gold ones are cool, but I think four in there instead of two, it's plenty of space, so, now I'm just rambling on, but, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll keep you posted, uh, hopefully see another update in about two days by Wednesday, this thing, you know, cleared up, planted out, fish in it, and, so be looking out for it, later guys.